all right so far what we have done we have installed the sql server and we created the database files and then we stored the backups everything under the root partition okay so if you say df minus h there is there are no partitions here there are no mount points so typically you would want to store the uh, database files the mdfs ldfs and then uh, backups on different mount points okay so in this uh, video we are going to look at how to create the mount points and then store the database files on the mount points not on the root partition so this root partition is 80 gb we have created centos you can see here the vda file it is 80 gb okay so if you run out of the space what do you do how do you expand so you need to create some additional storage for the server to store the database files what we are going to do is we are, we are going to add additional storage that means uh, give additional storage and then mount the storage under a different mount uh, mount points on the linux server so let's uh, shut down the server so it's coming down and you can see it is powered off and then go to the storage so the controller here you add new disk hard disk so create new hard disk so this is going to be sql data dot vdi and uh, let's say 10 gb add another drive sql logs so this is 8 gb let it be 8 gb okay so we have added two disks to this uh, server now let's click OK and start the server. all right so now if you, if you say df minus h you don't see the new drives because you have to uh, create the partition table on the new disks and then format that partition and then mount that uh, partition to a share folder or uh, to a folder okay so you have to do a lot of things so so you will see that uh, f disk minus l these are the disks that are added one is uh, sdb 10 gb sql data the other one is uh, sdc 8 gb for sql logs so anything s dev sd uh, star uh, dev sd star dev sd a b c d the drives you add it will be dev sd b a sd sd uh, b sd c like that okay so now you need to create a partition so to create partition i'm going to partition sdb which is sql data so m so here you will see add new partition n is it primary or second second extended okay primary uh, default one first sector default which is fine last sector uh, sector is fine and then finally 
you have to say what is that um, w right to the disk so that's what we have done so far so and then this is the command that you need to execute to partition the so here uh, ext4 i think there is another one i forgot uh, uh, xfs or something let me check that xfs okay two file systems either ext4 or xfs so i'm going to use the ext4 for this one So we are executing stb stb1 okay so let's say f disk uh, minus l now you will see sdb1 is created the partition table is created okay all right so now you've you formatted that partition now what you need to do is uh, now if you say f disk minus l you can see that here uh, dos the label and then 10 gb so now you, you know you need to mount that uh, partition so how do you do that uh, So let's uh, like I think when we created mk directory we have to we should have specified the minus p that would have created okay so now let's uh, mount this one so we have mounted um, now you can see the disk that we added 10 gb it is mounted on this folder okay so now you can move all all the mdf files to this uh, to this drive to, to this mount point but when you restart this uh, mount will go away okay so you need to put that in the fs tab okay so i think uh, now let's uh, partition and format sdc drive which is uh, sql logs drive new partition primary and then we have to uh, format that yes dc1 is created
okay we just formatted it and then um, receive one all right so we did this so now we have you can see we have added two drives and then we partitioned the drive we created the partition table on that on that newly added drive and then formatted that partition and then we mounted that partition um, to this uh, folder okay so you can mount directly under uh, slash you know you don't need to create a mount but i just wanted to know this is a mount point okay but anything dev sd b1 sd c1 those are mount points uh, so you know that um all right so now so far what we have done uh, we created two drives to store the sql data and log files so we have to move the files sql data and log files to these files but these files that sorry that the, the two drives are owned by root it has to be owned by um, the mssql because that's the one writing the the files in these uh, mount points so okay so now let's uh, we need to stop the sql server is running SQL Server is running. So you know you can see the database and uh, sorry the data and log directories have changed. Let's create a uh, new database. okay created let's see where it created okay it created in uh, sql data and sql logs folder so now you have the files created here so going forward so going forward this is uh, the default uh, data location 
and this is the log location but uh, what we have done is uh, you know we just added these two disks but what if you want to extend this disk you ha you have created 10 gb right and tomorrow uh, the 10 gb is not enough you wanted to extend the 10 gb to 20 gb or 30 gb you keep on extending as uh, you st keep storing the data so what you want to do in that case <clears throat> so you the way we added f disk and then we form we partitioned and then we formatted it and then we presented it right so we have to use the volume manager we have to when we add a disk this uh, the way we add it we should not be doing it like this uh, we have to use the volume manager to add the disk to the server okay so we have to create the logical volume groups and then we have to uh, present that logical volume uh, to the server so that is uh, that is another way of presenting the disks to the server you have to create add a disk and then partition it and create a, a logical volume you know first you have to create a physical volume volume group and then logical volume and then format that and then mount it that way uh, if you wanted to extend the the volumes okay you mount the volume uh, let's see yeah you mount that the logical volume so tomorrow if you want action you just uh, add another disk to that uh, the volume group then you have more data so you don't need to uh, worry about adding one more disk directly to the server but this is one way of adding the disk storage to the server to move away uh, the the database files uh, from the root partition into other disks if you run out of the space then obviously you have to all right we will look into uh, the next method of creating the logical volumes and mounting those logical volumes to the server for the sql backups we use the the different method not the one uh, not the way we did uh, just before but we will create the logical volumes and then we format it and mount it mount the logical volumes so we'll we'll go a different route uh, a better way of uh, presenting the storage to the server uh, for the sql backups okay that way you know are different uh, types of adding storage to the server uh, you know if you are in rush for you know for the demo purposes even this is also uh, good right you don't need to you know follow several steps of creating the logical volumes and volume manager etc etc but uh, you know you should know the other way of adding the story presenting the storage to the server using the logical volumes and volume managers